Hello guys, in today's video we're gonna check out the best cameras for beginners in this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I've tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and many more. To find out more information about these cameras for beginners you can check out the description below. If you want to get a best quality cameras for beginners according to your needs, then watch the video till the end and then decide to buy. At the first position of our list, we have Nikon D3500. If you've never used a camera before, using the D3500 from Nikon is the perfect option as the entire design gets you up and running right away. With an intelligent fully automatic mode, wide-ranging scene mode and numerous effects you can choose from, the Nikon DSLR D3500 provides everything you need to get started. A high-performance 24.2MP sensor and processor, as well as a large ISO range and high-resolution LCD screen, shows off the camera's quality to take stunning point and shoot pictures that will look better than a cell phone camera. While the LCD isn't a touch screen, the overall package makes this Nikon DSLR worth looking at. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Canon Rebel SL3. The first entry-level DSLR to feature movie capture at fork resolution, the Canon Rebel SL3 from Canon uses the dual-power CMOS autofocus system and helps the camera perform very well when you are tracking the action in a video you're shooting. Not one to be on our list for the only video, the 250D provides a beginner-friendly interface as well as a creative assist mode that works perfectly with the fully articulated touchscreen. The Canon Rebel SL3 is one of the most compact and lightweight DSLRs on the market and can grow with you as you become more experienced. The number 3 position is held by Fujifilm X-T200. The list of best cameras for beginners without the mention of the Fujifilm X-T200 would be an injustice to the list. Succeeding its predecessor X-T100, X-T200 is one of the most budget-friendly mirrorless cameras available in the market. Unlike its precursor, the X-T200 promises a better response rate and comes loaded with more amazing features. The features that make Fujifilm X-T200 stand out are its highly accurate face and eye detection algorithm, advanced image processing with a copper-wired processor, which reduces noise levels, increases readout speeds, and thus, camera performance, in a widescreen 90 to plus 180 degree rotatable LCD touchscreen. Next at number 4 we have Panasonic Lumix DMC Zone 100. When you look at the Z Zone 100K from Panasonic, don't look at its small size as a negative as the camera has some big features and specifications within its shell. With a sensor that's large for a compact camera, the Z Zone 100K contains a 20.1 MP 1.0 type sensor while providing relatively noise-free image quality even when the ISO settings are high. The camera even has an electric viewfinder as well as a high-res 3-inch rear screen fit into its small body. Able to shoot 4K UHD for both video and stills, while having a frame rate of up to thirds and a burst rate of tenths for full resolution stills. The Z Zone 100K from Panasonic is in our opinion, a DSLR camera in a compact camera's body making it a great option if you don't want to carry a bulky camera around all day. The number 5 position is held by Sony HX400V. Like many other bridge cameras, the lens on the HX400V from Sony is fixed but comes with a DSLR-like body. This design makes sense as the zoom range of 25-500 would be hard for any other body style to handle. With a maximum burst rate of tenths, the camera is not lacking in terms of speed. The 20.4 megapixels and 3.0-inch tilting screen with a high resolution of 922 x around the 1-2, 3 type sensor which is quite small for this type of camera. The display is not a touchscreen however but if you're looking for a camera that has the feel of a DSLR before splurging on one, the HX400V from Sony is a good starting point. The number 6 position is dominated by Olympus Stylus Stuff TG5. Not every camera that you may own will be able to stand up to the environment that you take it into. For those moments, the TG5 from Olympus makes a great option. Able to withstand being submerged in water up to 45 feet, dropped from 6 feet or frozen to 14 degrees Fahrenheit, it can stand up to a lot of punishment. A great camera for outdoor activities, the burst rate of 20 and the ability to capture video in 4K UHD resolution make the camera stand out for active shooting in numerous and varied environments. A Forks optical zoom and built-in macro and microscopic modes just add to the camera's versatility. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Sony A6000. While the Sony NEX series departed from the company's mirrorless cameras lineup, it paved the way for the Sony A6000. 
Coming with a similar feature set as the Sony NEX6, Sony did a good job on this model by adding a few remarkable features. The feature that stands out in the Sony E6000 is its hybrid autofocus system for added precision and quicker response when shooting fast-moving subjects. With the Sony E6000, you can capture the most fleeting of moments with its 11th continuous shooting. The number 8 position is held by Canon EOS M50 slash Mark Roman II. Besides being a compact and sleek entry-level mirrorless camera, Canon EOS M50 slash Mark Roman II didn't fail to impress us, especially those into vlogging and video content creators. With its cool features, the camera is a video creator's delight offering in camera YouTube live streaming, vertical video filming in 4, and wireless connectivity with smartphone and cloud. Visual storytelling becomes easy with the Canon EOS M50 slash Mark Roman II's Vari Angle LCD monitor and easy connectivity eliminating the need for a streaming unit. Next at number 9 we have Sony zv -Adden. Sony zv -Adden is a flawless camera that focuses on vlogging. The compact body, an intuitive screen, and boosted microphones delivers a delightful photography experience. With 24 MP APS-C sensor, it is equipped with reliable MPFW50 batteries to keep you going on the go. You can easily capture 4K videos at 30 FPS and live stream them smoothly. It has a fast autofocus across photos and videos and an impressive object tracking functionality that even works amazing in dim scenes. If you are looking for a great camera with outstanding performance at a decent price, then this is the one. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Canon EOS 250D. The first entry-level DSLR to feature 4K video capture, the EOS 250D from Canon comes with a dual-pixel CMOS autofocus system that is great for live view and moving modes and makes tracking action when shooting video much easier. Beginner-friendly with an optional guided user interface and creative assist modes, both of which work with the fully articulated touchscreen perfectly. The 250D is a camera that you can take anywhere and everywhere with its compact and lightweight build. Built to grow with you as a photographer as you learn new skills, Canon's quick menu gives you instant and intuitive access to important settings. That's all for today. We upload camera and camera accessories review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.